What is going on, Movie Meals? Movie Meals, it's been a it's been a minute. We've been busy, uh, <laughs> sick off and on. Things to do, places to be. It was my spring break. You think Camera's I'd have broken. time to film things? Nope. The camera broke. There was technical difficulties. There was a whole bunch of crazy stuff. Even though we saw a couple movies, uh, we're we're back with Monkey Man, so we're here to review that, talk about it. Hopefully, the podcast will be back soon as well. But we've been busy. A lot, lot going on. Okay, a lot going on, and we're not, not we're not going too crazy here. But uh, before we get into anything, my patrons, Kimberly and Karen, I'm sitting today. I'm letting. Didn't even didn't too tired to even really set everything up. I'm just letting the white out. You know, I'm just gonna let it all happen. Let it flow today. Um, That's good. But we, uh, we're we here for Monkey Man. Go get some merch. Uh, help us get to 2,000 subs. When we get to 2,000 subscribers, we're going to give away a free hoodie. The hoodie is currently in the wash, so I can't show it off. <laughs> You'd think I'd have an extra. I only have the one I like to wear because it's that freaking comfortable, but I should get another. <laughs> um, let's get into it here. So Kyle and I both this last weekend got a chance to see Monkey Man. Uh, I'm excited for Civil War next week, too. I'm sure we'll review that. But uh, let's uh, let's get into it here, Kyle. What were your positives of a uh, good old Monkey Man, Dev Patel directorial debut? Uh, my thoughts are that it rules, and great job by Dev Patel, not only taking the lead on it, but also uh, taking the lead on it acting wise, but also directing wise. Um, it's kind of just the worst kept secret, I think, when it comes to like people who are really into movies, is that Dev Patel is a great actor and a great talent, but um we just are so passionate for the guy that we want like to really see him shoot for the stars in terms of like his talent and his uh, potential stardom and i think he just was able to take matters into his own hands when it comes to monkey man and be able to prove that with this movie not in terms of just acting but also directing i thought for his first time directing it was some really impressive uh stuff not in terms of like the drama side of things but also in terms of the action sequences um what I really got a kick out of this movie was how hard he went into making the action. Um, not only is it just so adrenaline pumping and entertaining to watch, but it's also just filled with anger and violence, obviously, but also just takes such a brutalist approach to like an action movie that was kind of refreshing to see just how much our action hero gets being enough not in terms of physical physically but also just emotionally and mentally which was also another aspect of this movie that i really appreciated i really liked that um it was more of a slow burn of a character coming to terms with his journey more than i realized i was kind of expecting and i guess because of the marketing i was expecting it to be, to be more of go 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 no time to waste start to finish action movie kind of in the vein of john wick which we can we see has been able to work but it almost reminded me almost of like first blood or the first terminator movie to where we know them as action movies but they are more so of like character pieces and they really take time to build on character to show who they are and then the action is kind of the payoff in those movies and i think monkey man i don't know if those were like you know ways of or or i don't know if they were inspiration for this movie necessarily but those were just the connections i was making as i was realizing what this kind of movie was so um mm -hmm. With that in mind, I really, like I said, I really liked the, his approach to this movie. I really liked um, his commentary when it comes to the corruption that's going on in India. And you can kind of tell that because of that, it really brought uh, an angry sort of passion to like the filmmaking style that he took, but also just in terms of what he wanted to talk about um, on the political commentary side of things. But that being said, um, I, I don't think that political commentary isn't, necessarily isolating for an audience member i think that they could have an understanding of like what the filmmaker is trying to go for because at the end of the day it does really help be a larger um story thread into making us want to care about the character and making us see his journey to uh his revenge tale so um again incredible job by patel incredible job by not just acting but the directing uh sound like at least from the behind the scenes things a lot of um yeah. it was it was a hard journey to get this movie made yeah. it didn't seem like he had the most budget he had the most uh i guess talent to be able to help him with his first time directing but 
I thought he really stuck the landing with it. Um, whole cast and crew should be really proud of themselves, but especially for Patel himself, too. Um, so I rambled on enough, Alex. What about you? Yeah, and I'd add shout out too to Jordan Peele, who sees this movie. Uh, I believe they're friends, got to see an early cut. This movie was supposed to go to a streaming platform like Netflix, and he said, absolutely not. Mm. We need to just put this movie in the theaters, and I'm very much glad he did. Uh, yeah, I know Dev Patel talked about how he like broke like toes and fingers and ribs. I know I saw an interview the other day where he broke so many things that on one side of his body and he hurt his shoulder or something. And so they had to film a fight sequence from the other angle the entire time because he had uh, damaged uh, some parts of his body on his left or right side or something. But yeah, this movie's awesome. I went in expecting it because I had heard it was like John Wick on steroids. Like it's just John Wick. John Wick was being compared and rightfully so for the way it's action is handled. But where John Wick is a little bit more quick, here's the story, straight violence after. I mean, there's not much to it. Uh, Dev Patel goes through the full hero's journey here. I mean, he fails, he learns, he adapts, he grows. And I really appreciated that. He, he was able to do a lot in two hours. I was kind of surprised that the movie was just at two hours. Um, mm -hmm. I think the movie's incredible. I thought his action was amazing. His direction choice was very unique. There's some shots, especially at the end in some fights, that I really liked. Uh, what you know, how he chose to shoot with along with what's in the set, how the set's designed, and how he's going to get certain shots. I really liked that. He had a very, very strong directorial debut. This is a very good movie. His performance is great. I mean, Dev Patel, we've known how good he is. I mean, he's phenomenal in Lion. He got an Oscar nomination for it. He's incredible in The mm -hmm. Green Knight, Slumdog Millionaire. Uh, he doesn't produce a lot at once. You know, we don't see Dev Patel often. It's not like he's, yeah. but I think he, he picks his projects really well. And I really support that. I loved the representation of this movie in India, what it does. Um, I know I, I saw some stuff before I went into the movie um, about how the movie uh, has transgender representation. Love that. Once I saw it in the film, I was like, oh, great. I love this. I love the way it's utilized in the movie. I love just what he did um, and how he crafted this story. I thought it was really beautiful, really fun to watch action-wise. The action was awesome. Uh, there was no real issues. I mean, sometimes, like, the way he used shaky cam was very well. The way he used, the way he just filmed the action was really, really impressive to me. It was not the style of story I was expecting going in, and I left very, very pleasantly surprised. Um and I guess this is a very, very minor, minor spoiler, but there, he is a hero's journey. There will be a training montage, and it's one of the best training montages I've seen in a while. I loved the way they handled it. I know what you're, And the yeah. way, the way he, um, in a sense, found, found his rhythm is the perfect way to put it as a fighter. Mm -hmm. And I, <laughs> I loved, loved, loved that decision because you don't see many movies when they do fighting montages and training montages um for the character to get stronger um i mean really i mean this really isn't a spoiler he he i mean because i'm not talking to the movie but he's in the beginning of the movie a good fighter who's not as good as he could be he later finds literally his rhythm to to kind of be able to fight the way he is meant to fight and it just takes a, a fighter who is not quite there but really tough really strong and it puts him over the top. And I loved the way they chose to go about that in the movie. I thought mm -hmm. it was excellent. I have not seen that in a movie in a long time. And I really, really appreciated that. As great as Creed and all these other movies are, I really don't think I've seen a better training montage since the original Rocky. I loved it so much. I thought it was excellent and very fitting of the culture and where they're at. Mm -hmm. It's probably going to go be ahead. one of my favorite scenes of the year. If I, it, It's the one it's that I'm so thinking good. of, too. It's and that's so kind of where good. the movie clicked for me too, where I was like, okay, this rules. Like, this is definitely <laughs> like yeah, an um, awesome movie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my girlfriend said the same thing when we left the showing was like halfway. She was like, I was, I don't know. I was kind of not, I, I was expecting just action, action, action. I wasn't getting it halfway through. Then all of a sudden we mm -hmm. hit that training montage. I'm in and I'm back in. It was like, you gotta, you gotta love these characters, man. They're building up good character development. I'm, I'm here for that. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, I loved it. I I mean, I'll throw it to Kyle here, but you don't need to throw back. I got no negatives for this film. Do you have any? Uh, for me, it goes to that shaky camp thing. I do think uh, most of it was done well, although just for my taste of what I like from action, I don't always agree with using shaky cam. I will say, though, it is useful when it comes to, like, 
him finding his rhythm in terms of being like a fighter uh you do see like his journey from being a fighter who is a bit too chaotic to a fighter who i guess finds his rhythm so to speak like kind of a tale of two halves of a movie if you will um but at the same time it does feel like it kind of gets me a bit too disoriented for its own good as much as it's for its for being purposeful for the the story um i don't know it felt like it was pretty it it was quite a bit in that first half in my opinion um but yeah one it's just a personal taste thing of mine and two i do think like it's a bit too disorienting to where i could see audiences kind of getting lost in the first half of the movie luckily the second half is strong as well that it has a great payoff and i think audiences can be brought in kind of that same realization moment of how good this movie is like similar to what alex and his girlfriend and i kind of experienced here but um that's probably the one thing for me like as good as the action was sometimes it got away from itself as being a bit too disorienting um when it comes to the shaky cam type of stuff but it's done with purpose so i admire it for that at least i didn't even notice shaky cam until the second half until the end really Never even, I never stopped and thought, oh, shaky cam. Uh, Because I didn't think Mm -hmm. there was that much in it. And I think it just worked with the way he directed it, which is just really strong direction. Um, I guess the only thing I could say is a negative, and it's really not, is just the passage of time. That was the one thing I left being like, how much time has truly passed? It was a question more than a critique. Um, But no, yeah, this movie's awesome. Um, I know, uh, yeah, no, it's just just awesome. Um, I I love that it came out. Just uh, go see it. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, it's really, really good. So, um, guys, what did you think? If you see Monkey Man, comment below. Let us know. I'm going to like, subscribe, and share. Get one of those hoodies by doing all that. Thank you, Mumio patrons. And as always, thanks for watching, Mom. See you guys.